are you doing today? I would love to share with the final devotion for today by Apostle Grace Loveka. And today's theme scripture is Exodus chapter 9, verse 1, the KJV. And it says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus says the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go that they may serve me. A free man is today's theme. There are believers who have spent endless nights binding the powers of darkness and seeking, seeking freedom from bondage to no avail. When you perform an audit of their lives, you realize that their problem is not necessarily the things that they are struggling with. Their problem is that there is nothing in their lives that can be described as service to God. Nothing scripture, the Bible reveals to us that the greatest evidence of a man who is free is his service to the Lord. For this reason, the command to fear is, let my people go that they may serve me. The people were not to be freed simply so that they could live their own beautiful lives. The people were to be freed in order to serve the Lord their God. Freedom in the realm of the Spirit is, is most manifested in our service to God. Rather than praying for a job and binding the spirits of poverty that you assume are running after you, preach the gospel. Let the job find you in service to God. Rather than casting out the spirits that you imagine are keeping you from getting married, serve God like Rebecca the matriarch who served her way into marriage. That is Genesis chapter 24, verse 41 to 46. Let your spouse find you in the place of service. Choose to serve God and let him take care of the details of your personal desires. Other study scriptures are Genesis chapter 24, verse 41 to 46, and Matthew chapter 23, verse 11. The golden nugget, freedom in the realm of the spirit is most manifested in our service to God. Choose to serve God and let him take care of the details of your personal desires. Let us pray. My Lord, I thank you for this knowledge. Your truth has set me free, and I live in the reality of this enduring freedom. I serve you with my heart, soul, and spirit. I look beyond my needs to the needs of the kingdom, to the urgency of heaven, and to the demands of divine purpose. They are my priority. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Bye.